Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. Literally, I've been here 15 years. It's a 15th anniversary final cut special episode. Uh, yes, this will not be too spoilery, but uh, I've put it out there, and some of my wonderful Spoiler Room crew have uh, picked movies from the year when uh, the film started, uh, when I started on YouTube, so from 2006, and Miss Angelique Bone is joining us today. Hello, Angelique. How are you? I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm I'm doing well, uh, running myself crazy, but other than that, you know. Uh, aren't we all? <laughs> aren't we all? <laughs> so, yes, the film today, uh, we're talking uh, stay, in, stay Alive, and I've got the synopsis here. I'll do it first. See, five years after Tony Moreno's Saturday Night Fever is still burning, and now, oh, wait. It's, it's oh wrong my. staying alive. Oh, wait, no, I got the soundtrack here. Here it is. Here, I got the sound. It's got staying alive <laughs> on it. It hit number one on the Billboard charts. That's what we're, oh, we're not talking about that staying alive either, are no. we, Angelique? What? No, no, what? Staying alive. <laughs> stay, stay alive. Oh, okay. Well, since you picked the film, uh, if you wouldn't <laughs> mind giving the synopsis, of uh, this film, now that I did a just a horribly cheesy dad joke reference, so. Oh no, that's, everybody thinks that's what I'm talking about when I talk about this movie to begin with. So they start singing Bee Gees and I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> but this movie, Stay Alive, um, I love this movie. It's held just a, a little piece of my, my crazy little cold heart. Uh, since the first time I saw it, um, it's one of the first killer video game movies, basically. Uh, there's a, a guy who does, uh, I guess, what beta testing for video games, mm -hmm. um, looking for bugs and stuff. And uh, he dies in the video game. And then all of a sudden, he really dies, kind of the same way he did in the game. And uh, his best friends take up the mantle and find the uh, copy of the game that they're not supposed to have. And they plug it in and decide to play in his honor and they start getting picked off one by one and it all takes place in and around new orleans and it brings in a bunch of witchcraft hoodoo and all of a sudden here's elizabeth bathory who has no ties to new orleans at all <laughs> i would, would have gone for delphine lalaurie or something like that but that's a, that we'll get into that i'm sure as we as we talk mm. but uh, long story short, it's just a good, a good popcorn flick. I mean, it's just fun. Now, uh, I'm glad you enjoy it quite a bit. Um, I saw <laughs> this. I reviewed this a while back. I can't find it. I think it died on one of my uh, hard drives that failed. I did review this. I remember seeing it uh, for one of my Horror Thursdays, I think, or Terror Tuesdays when we were uh, doing stuff for We Live Film. Um, hmm. Didn't hit with me that much um what is it about this film that appeals to you honestly it's it's the group i think mm -hmm. and the the setting and the background and just the little scooby-doo misadventure that they get into because i mean the, the the plot is full of holes <laughs> holes the the acting while there are some great folks in this movie, if you have Frankie Munez and, and the guy um, that plays on It's Always Sunny. Yep. I can't remember his name off the top of my you head. Got, you got like, Milo uh, Ventimiglia. I, I always ru ruin his name. He's good in it. Yeah. Adam Goldberg is in yeah. it. Um, a, a kind of a wasted cast, I think. <laughs> you know, um, but it, the, the between the plot holes, the waste of the good talent, the CGI sucks. I mean, we'll just we'll just say that right off the bat. This is one of those early films where they really tried to integrate video game imagery, try and draw in us kids, you know, <laughs> who were really gaming at the time. I mean, I was playing, you know, Resident Evil, Silent Hill, Fatal Frame. All the, and, and they do reference those games in the movie. Um, although my boss didn't do cocaine in the office. <laughs> no, no, or they maybe do. they did. I know I don't know about it. <laughs> you usually use the executive bathroom for that. I mean, yeah, yeah, not your desk. Oh, come no, on. come on. 
<laughs> Unless you're eating a powdered donut at your desk too, then you can get away with it. Maybe go. Oh, look at the crumbs. Oh, that's why it's all oh, those, those crumbs. Donut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you not watching, I was just massaging my gums with powdered sugar. <laughs> not, not in. Uh, well, this is, <laughs> this this is video, so this will be a video version. So whatever you're doing on camera, Angelique, they will see, uh, and we and, might get more views that way. So you never know. Well, oh. hey, you know, <laughs> I'm fully clothed. I'm fully clothed. <laughs> well, we don't want to get banned from YouTube after so many years, so. Uh, you know, but uh, there's 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 so much wrong with this movie. I think it makes it right. <laughs> I I will say my second viewing of this film, I enjoyed it a lot more than the first time I watched it. I think the first time I watched it, going into it, I wasn't quite sure what to expect, and so it was a bit jarring, as you mentioned, the the plot holes and that the cast they do have in here is this is wonderful talent, and they really make the most of a script that was written by someone who's never played a freaking video game in their life. <laughs> I don't think they've ever interacted with anybody under the age of 25. Because these are all supposed to be what, college age College kids, kids yeah. You know, 21, 22, you know, and they're just really kind of, yeah. and then the, the weird brother-sister relationship, you know, that was kind of like, they are a little too close. The the, the brother sister relationship was a bit awkward. Uh, I did like Frankie Muniz's character quite a bit. The the geeky, the youngest of the group, the geekiest guy with the conspiracy theory, theories. Swink was his name too. Yeah. Um, but you know, it's Frankie Muniz trying to get rid of the Malcolm in the Middle stigma. He never could quite shake it. So, you know, he's taking a role like this and I, I liked him in it. I, again, I liked the cast, the story. There's, there's, there's fits and spurts in this film that I really enjoy. It's when they don't get into the actual video game part that I enjoy. It's when they start trying to play the game and such to where I'm just like, that's, that's not how that works. They do a multiplayer all in one room. This is 2006, folks. Okay, so I'm just I'm putting it out there. Multiplayer online, yeah. That 56k well cable modem by that time, you know, DSL. Sure, you got that coming out, but still, for what this game was, you know, showed. There's <laughs> you like would... six people connected to the same server. Five of them in the same room using the same internet connection and voiceover technology. And, you know. and he was doing it from his office and they, the rest of them were doing it. Yeah. For one location on the same monitor. On the, well, they had different monitors now. The, 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 the gotcha have, had, oh, that's right. Yep. You're right. The gotcha yep. had a 42 inches. Frankie yep. had a laptop. That's right. You you're know. right. Yep. Yep. But, yeah. but there are, no. And their impression of gamers this let's put it this way folks after watching it a second time angelique and this is a good and bad description but i think it sums it up this is the hackers of video game movies okay <laughs> yes. this, yes. this this is the hackers of video game movies because it's ridiculous and plot holes and, and things hurt you, you know if you think about it too much but it and you can tell whoever wrote this had no clue but at the same time there's some entertainment to be had here so there's some cool things they've got this gimmick with rose petals to help protect i loved that angle of it i loved when you get into them confronting elizabeth bathory which is this video get you know i love when they get into that we're trying not to spoil too much but and you know the end but there's just parts in between where they're trying to do the actual video game stuff and some of the relationships where are just are, are head scratchers there's no rules they try to establish rules but angelique yeah. they they don't hold to their own rules no they don't <laughs> they, they break the rules completely and totally all the time i By mean the, to, go ahead yeah to the point where the i mean the game just starts playing itself yeah, I'm just like, there's parts of this where like, wait, when did that happen? What? 
No, that's not how that works, especially when he pulled out the laptop and is playing in a van in the <laughs> middle of Louisiana in 2006 outside of an abandoned oh, plantation <laughs> road. <laughs> I was like, you know, sitting there thinking, I, I, I missed that. That was one thing that didn't connect with me because I was like, how is he playing the game? How? Because it's, it's internet. And then I'm thinking, oh, well, cell phone tech. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> he was not running that connection through his flip phone. Let's put it that way. <laughs> and I was like, what, 2G? <laughs> Not even, not even a G. I'm like, that was the one thing, you know, it's like up until that point, I'm like, okay, I'm digging some of this. And then he just pulls out the laptop and starts playing and it's played itself in the middle of it. I'm like, I barely get reception in certain places now. And they, I mean, I'm in my house and I, <laughs> I mean, it, I mean come on. <laughs> it may have been out in some places but where they were there's no way this guy is playing a full 3d game on his computer with no lag road next to like poncha train you know? <laughs> I, had D I had dsl and i get lag depending on what multiplayer game i was playing so i'm just like so that's why i called it the hackers of video game horror films because whoever wrote it you know hopped on a web crawler and no, I'm just kidding. There was Google by 2006, but still, some Yahoo chats. Some Yahoo chats. <laughs> some he aim he joined boom. some video game chat group and asked, "Hey guys, <laughs> what's that? What's that? You know, hello, fellow children." <laughs> <laughs> Sitting on a message board, going, huh, "How do you do this video game thing?" Oh, and then they wrote a script on it. So, I mean, and what do all these buttons do? <laughs> It it is cheesy. It it, it does the CGI. Actually, what, what's funny is um, one of my sons ended up sitting and watching it, part of it with me. They came in and they're like, "What are you watching?" And I mentioned like, "Huh?" Because they're huge gamers. I mean, my one yeah. oldest wants to go into uh, you know programming for gaming. So uh, yeah. yeah, and so he's he's like, "What's it?" He's watching. He's like, "When's this film supposed to take place?" I'm like, two thousand six. Like, well, actually, he's like the graphics there. About average I mean, for the yeah for that time yeah and but you could, what they were going to do with the graphics is a different story <laughs> the, the, the technology <laughs> behold yes there yeah. were internet cafes and coffee houses and it's not like it, we're talking the dark ages here but some of the things they did in here were just a little advanced for the time at least for college kids I mean yeah. the tech might have been there for people with the but these kids did not have the cha-ching no. cha-ching. I don't know. I mean, that apartment he had in, in, in the French Quarter. Downtown, Orleans, yeah. You know, yeah. I am sure that beautiful goth coffee shop that I just want to steal and take for my own. You know, I bet that drew in a pretty penny, especially if they did have, you know, internet. Yeah. You know, whatever, I but it, it was it was not a cheap setup, no, and it was a nice place. Though uh, the the brother sister pairing we get in here, uh, who's oh yeah, I believe her name was October. Finn. October. Yeah, Finn we, October. <laughs> it was an odd introduction. She's it's a coffee house, and she's all supermodel type pose on top of the bar at the coffee shop, like her legs up and she's just like. <laughs> all, all goth baristas have to hop off the bar on the hour, every hour. It's like the coyote ugly of coffee shops. Coyote. <laughs> <laughs> coffee <laughs> ugly. I don't know. Both, both water, they do steamed milk, you know. <laughs> Espresso ugly. I don't know. Uh <laughs> Um, yeah, you know, I mean, I, I did like the characters. I like the angle where they have the outsider, the, the non-video gamer uh, girl, you know, they hook up, uh, they, they meet up at a funeral because folks, when there's a funeral, the perfect place to pick someone up is at a funeral. Sex and death. Sex and death. Hand in hand. Hand in hand. <laughs> so, there have been studies. 
So especially now this film doesn't age well, but I will say I did enjoy it more than I did the first time I watched it. Uh, you know, you sit, you, you love it. And I, I, I love you for loving it. I could only give it three and a half stubs, but that's, that still means it's watchable just as long oh, it's as not a star. Huh? it's a five star movie. No, <laughs> don't get me wrong. You know, it, there, I recognize all the problems with it. However, it, re, it has a it's, lot of heart behind it for, for everything that's wrong. And for some reason it just, it hits those perfect Angelique buttons <laughs> that are required. It, so, yeah. it, it's it's got a it's got a fun charm to it that's why i likened it to hacker because i watch hackers and i'm in it during my day job and trust me watching hackers is if you think of the tech what you're like oh no 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 <laughs> we, we we don't have file servers on glass okay that just that no but <laughs> You know, but don't think of it. If you go into it just looking for this kind of cheesy, campy uh, horror film, I think Stay Alive is one of those to where it, it has that spirit. And if they would have had a budget, I think, behind this and could have sold it to like a larger studio, I think this film would have actually been a lot better had they had someone else take the script and go, oh, yeah, I got a red line, a number of things in here. Yeah. Um, in all honesty, I'm surprised this hasn't popped up for a remake. Yeah, I, I mean, well, th there's people that have done some similar, you know, video game death movies like that. Uh, this was one of the first ones I remember watching, though, of where they went like all in on the video game part. It's not like just a side, you know, kind of gimmick. This it, it's a main plot driven po plot part in this film is the video game, you know, so. I don't know. It, it's got it's got its moments. It's got its charm. Uh, it just don't think of the plot at all. Uh, just just grab a beverage and some friends sit down and, you know, you can laugh. It's OK to laugh at the film, uh, but you, I think you'll still be entertained. Yeah. And I gave it three and a half, mostly for the cast and the entertaining parts. I mean, there, there are some really fun moments, especially the ending. I will say the ending it really picks up and you're like, where was this the rest of the film? You yeah. know, um, because the ending suddenly makes you go, wait, now you do this. It's like, uh -huh. there, there's so much you could have did with this part that you like tacked on at the end. It's like, Oh wait, we're making a video game movie. Uh <laughs> but actually wait, no, it's a real thing. And it's, it's not just a game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of great stuff there folks so there you have it there's our a review of stay alive if you have seen stay alive please leave your comments down below don't forget to check out our ama july 9th 7 p.m central standard time i still have no idea what i'm going to do with it but i will be live taking your questions going over videos and whatever else comes to mind angelique as always with all my guests you have a license to shill my friend so please let these fine folks know where they can find your stuff at uh, you can find me on Facebook. You can find me on Instagram and uh, TikTok. And uh, mostly you're going to see me hanging around at monstersmadnessandmagic.com. There you go, monstersmadnessandmagic.com. I actually have a couple of videos that uh, I'm going to be uh, tossing over that direction. So I got a couple oh. new new ones here. Uh, so amongst all the other things I'm working on. So <laughs> there you have it, folks. And one more thing from the buffet onto your plate there. That, that's <laughs> right. It's That plate is piled high every day, let me tell you. Well, thank you, folks. And remember, till next time, keep that ticket stubbed.